guys, it's been exactly 3 years since I got the Hitachi RA10HVQ full DC window type air conditioner and I figured that maybe I should do an update about it because I get a lot of questions from people who are interested in compact inverter air conditioning units. Also, I'd like to apologize if I said 4 years in some of my responses in YouTube and some online forums because I just realized today while recording this that I actually purchased this in 2018, not 2017. So, nung nag-iisip po ako kung anong pag-uusapan sa video na to, I came up with three things. Unang-una sa lahat is, kumusta ba siya after three years? Kung meron ba nagbago sa lamig, sa lakas ng hangin? Second is, nagbago ba yung itsura niya sa labas at saka sa loob? At ang panghuli is, kung meron ba akong na-encounter na any sort of issue, both hardware or sa software niya, throughout yung entire time na gamit ko siya, kung nagloko ba siya, or not. So, yeah. Yun ang pag-uusapan natin today and I hope na matulungan ko kayo kung meron man kayong mga tanong. And before we proceed, I have just a bit of a short message for my viewers. Alright, so before we start, I'd just like to ask for your help, guys, because it says here that 97.6% of you are not subscribed. For the 2.4% who are subscribed, thank you so much. So if you guys could hit that subscribe button, that would be really helpful. I'm gonna set it to 24 and I'll turn on powerful mode. Right, so I believe the compressor is running at full speed now. So um, to be honest, even after three years, just proper maintenance, I have this machine cleaned every six months religiously. Walang sablay doon, talagang tuloy-tuloy na linis lang. The airflow is still as good as the day I bought it. I can still remember it. Just to show you how powerful the airflow is, <laughs> malakas pa po talaga yung airflow niya. It's blowing really cold air even after three years. Um, by the time I post this video, this is most likely transferred to my uncle's bedroom. Room, and that room is 12 square meters I think probably a bit smaller than my bedroom even though this thing is really powerful for its size and economical the problem is this bedroom is I think around 15 or if we're going to include the bathroom this bedroom is most likely around 17 or 18 square meters I'm not sure probably less now if you're gonna ask me why I had this installed in this bedroom instead of mine the thing is I'm the one who uses the air conditioner the most in this house because I work at home. Now my mom is only home around a month or two every year. This will be replaced by a 1.5 horsepower Mitsubishi Heavy Industries unit that I'll have installed over there. This air conditioner is good for just around 12 square meters. I think that's the maximum. Our house is situated by the main road so it's basically a huge heat reflector. These walls do get warm. That's the problem. But what we did was we had blinds installed and heat rejecting tints on top of these blackout curtains. They did help quite a bit. Also the doors and windows are all sealed using weather strips and caulking foam but that's just not enough this air conditioner simply does not have enough airflow to cool this space uh, it is a big space and it's also the warmest room in the house uh, this is a balcony so the door here is another way for heat to be transferred inside the bedroom To be honest, it's been great apart from, you know, expecting too much from such a small machine. Performance-wise, nothing really has changed. It still cools the same way it did when I first got it. The airflow is still really powerful. It's still pretty quiet for a compact inverter air conditioner, much quieter than most, you know, standard air conditioners out there. Another thing I've noticed is the white parts of the air conditioner hasn't turned yellow yet. It still looks new apart from, you know, few minor scratches here so what i'm gonna do now is to show you the inside uh, just so at least you have an idea as to what the coil looks like 
So this is what the evaporator looks like. As you can see here, the copper tubes do have a bit of patina on them. Yung mga social dyan, yun ang tawag sa kalawang ng copper. That shouldn't be a cause for concern. It does happen. There's a bit of rusting going on, but nothing major. It's, it's completely okay. This thing is still not rusty. Even outside, the condenser still looks okay. It still looks new. There's really not much difference. It's already three years old, and the first two years that this air conditioner has been used, like I've said before, book book po talaga to. It's used for almost 24 hours a day. The remote still looks new. Hindi nga po nanilawe, even the buttons. I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, that's another good thing about this air conditioner. No difference in performance at all. Since we moved here around a year and a half ago, this air conditioner has been used minimum of 12 hours, maximum 24 hours. Let's just say 14 to 16 hours a day. It's still very efficient for its size and the performance is still pretty good for something that's this small. I really have no complaints. Even the swing is still moving smoothly. No weird noises. All of the lights are working. No weird noises. No air code no shutdowns, no major maintenance issues, service calls apart from cleaning really. I'm really happy with this purchase and I guess that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions regarding this air conditioner, if you are really interested with this one, just comment below and then I'll answer as concise and informative as I can because I do love helping you out guys. I know how hard it is to earn money nowadays and I just really want to help because we are all hardworking people who want to be able to live comfortably as long as afford net the right? so anyway it would really help me guys if you just you know could give me a like and subscribe and then uh, i'll see you in the next video if you have any other questions or whatever just comment below and i'll do my best to answer thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video